Hi. I was watching the uh, Real Ale Guide beer review of um, I think it was the Hobgoblin uh, comparing the bottled to the canned brew. It may still be the case that they are two different brews. Uh, maybe they are brewed a different size. Maybe they're brewed to a different um, recipe. Um, however, one thing I did wonder was whether the fact that um, he said that the canned one was much more fizzy, whether that fizziness alone made a significant effect on the flavour. So as a bit of an experiment, uh, a beer that I brewed recently here, I generally, uh, to my personal taste, serve not very fizzy at all. There's life in there, but I wouldn't say it's fizzy. Uh, it's more like most real ales that you'd get in a pub on a hand pump. So it is quite quite flat really and just tends to suit my uh, my taste but what I did is this one I force carbonated I rammed up the pressure in the keg uh, to about 25 to 30 psi and now it really is uh, quite a, a fizzy beer um, more like um, most of the commercial beers that you get in a can and it's made quite a difference to the flavor I must say um, Apart from the fizziness alone, uh, whether it's just the effect of the bubbles on the taste bud or the acidity, which is increased, because uh, carbon dioxide dissolved in a solution will form carbonic acid, uh, if I recall correctly. But the bitterness, it tastes much more bitter uh, with this being fizzy, to me anyway. Um, and it does it does have a distinct effect on the flavour. So um, I just thought that might be of interest to you. Um, it certainly does have an effect, and I wonder if that is the difference between the canned and bottled uh, hobgoblin, because um, you did say that the the canned one was more fizzy and seemed to have a fuller flavour. Anyway, hope that's of interest. Cheers.